Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new here, what's up? My name is Marissa and today I'm gonna to be doing a requested video of how I organize my Google Calendar and basically everything for the current times. If you don't know, I am in nursing school right now, obviously online classes, and I wanna show you guys how I organize my Google Calendar and how I basically get organized for the beginning of the week. For the most part, I have not filled out this week simply because I just submitted a test. I was just kind of doing some other stuff around the house. And now I'm sitting down, it is about noon on Monday. I'm going to split screen my screen. You will see everything. I'll be walking you through it and showing you how I organize and get everything set up for the week so I know I'm not falling behind on anything and seeing if I can also get ahead on some stuff. And we just hit a thousand subscribers, which is crazy. So thank you so much for subscribing if you already have. If you haven't and you want to stick around for more videos, you know what to do. You can see that this is my week. I honestly, obviously, has not done that much this week. I don't have much in here. That is what we are going to focus on. I'll show you last week just for reference. So I'll click on Monday last week. I'll go to the week instead of the day. So this was last week which doesn't look like that much, but in each one of these I do have, let's see, what do I have? Like chapters and everything like that. So, I'm gonna go back to today. So this week I already just have in big mandatory assignments. So everything in red, like right here, I have family centered, I have my first quiz, and I put in the chapter. So the two units that it's due, health promotion and um, pediatric concerns, and I have an alarm the day before at 11.30. I should actually change that. Um, they post it the night before at 7, I think. So I'll put the alarm on at 7 so I can go print it out. But it is actually due um, the day before on Thursday, so this alarm will go off on Thursday for Friday. So today, I have, let's see, I have my clinical assignment, I have a video on heart failure that I need to do, and then um, I also already did one reminder. My one reminder was to do a maternity review quiz, and then I had a Zoom meeting this morning. I had an alarm set 10 minutes before to remind me to go. This red line is the current time that we're at, and I don't have anything for the rest of the day. But obviously I'm doing stuff for the rest of the day. This is all due this week. So I'm just gonna literally go from the top to the bottom and fill them all in. So I'm going to start with advanced concepts. So to start, I just hit create and we are going to do, we're gonna name it PowerPoints. And this is gonna be an event. So I'm gonna make this for today because it is 12.40 right now. So I'll start at 1.30 because I'm going to go up and eat lunch after this. 1.30 to about 4. And then I like adding, I keep the color and I add a description of what I'm going to be studying. So advanced concepts, chapters 25 and 21. And that is cardiac dysrhythmias. I don't know what that means. Then I just hit, I don't like notifications for these. So, so I know on Monday that I need to be doing this. That I can just hover over it and say, okay, what chapters? Okay, advanced concepts. That's what I need to be doing. So right now I'm just entering in all my PowerPoints for the week. Then I just do chapters for each. And I'll explain also how I divide it up. Then I add in clinical assignments that are due at 7 p.m. three days a week. Adding in more of a bright color to make sure like they're more urgent. And then later I go in and do yoga and Pilates classes, which I will talk about later. Okay, so that only took me about 10 minutes to go through everything and get everything from this piece of paper onto here. And I obviously did do the voiceover of everything. But I do add in um, yoga and Pilates. Those are classes that I've scheduled that I want to attend. And then I also put in clinical placement, um, clinical assignments that are due at a certain time. 
just so I know. Overall, this is pretty much what a basic week looks like. I do have a couple more things than I usually do. Like we don't usually have that many clinical assignments, but I think because we're getting into the swing of things, that's why we're being assigned so many, which is totally fine because I would rather be doing that. So with the PowerPoints and blocking off those times, I also have this on my phone, so it's kind of a reminder like, hey, you should be studying right now. So each day I write down a subject, like I think I had today is advanced concepts, tomorrow is maternity, the next day is farm, and then the next day is family centered. So I basically structured it out that way because I know if I'm doing multiple subjects at once, it's just not gonna stick in my brain as much as I would like it to. On to my PowerPoints, I know, okay, I can get through these two chapters, I can have lunch, then I can do my clinical assignments afterwards because those are also more, like, hands-on and you're using more, I think they're better than, like, sitting and watching a lecture. So I have different assignments, I have videos to watch, and then I have arrhythmias, interpretations, and then medical treatments for cardiac arrhythmias is my clinical stuff. I have to use my, um, I have to watch a couple YouTube videos and do a learning packet on it. So that is a lot, but I think that is gonna be easier than sitting and watching and doing PowerPoints. That's why I get the PowerPoints out of the way, and then I do more of like the fun activity stuff for clinical afterwards. So sometimes I do yoga at night, sometimes I do in the morning. I just scheduled in for classes that I know um, local studios are doing online classes. So I schedule those in, but if I just don't wanna go to them or I wanna take a walk instead, or I wanna do uh, YouTube Pilates or yoga instead, I will. I like blocking out the time because if I don't block out the time, I'm gonna forget and be like, oh, well, I didn't have to work out today. But like, I should. So I put it in there basically every day. Honestly, the day before, I kind of decide what I want to do for the next day. I'm going on like four mile walks every day. So my legs are killing me. So I want to focus on more like upper body. So it kind of depends on how I wake up on what activity I want to do for the day. And I also do wake up and do morning meditation majority of the day. I've stopped putting that in there because it's just, if I have too much in there, it kind of overwhelms me. So I took those out but I do have newly scheduled things in. Like now I go on Bible studies with Kenzie Elizabeth, if you guys know her from YouTube. Um, she holds those, so I've been going on those recently. It's awesome, second week is this week, I'm very excited. And also like, it's also very weather dependent on working out because sometimes I do like yoga in my driveway. I just like take my mat out and do a video or a class out there and like soak up the sun. Today it is absolutely pouring, it's supposed to rain an inch today so not getting outside today i don't even think i'm gonna work out because i'm so sore from yesterday so today's my rest day and i work out i try and work out like four to five times a week now because i have the time hopefully that answered all the questions of how i organize and how i do my calendar it's pretty individualized but i like to hold myself accountable with everything because the first couple of weeks when i wasn't scheduling things out and not making time for things i simply wasn't doing it so hold yourself accountable i also am usually one of those people that i like have a calendar and i have to write everything out but when i'm on my phone so much and on my laptop and i also have it on my ipad as well if i'm on those so much and i get notifications like hey you need to be studying right now you need to be doing your powerpoints your yoga class starts in 10 minutes go get set up your zoom meeting starts in 15 minutes go online and get the code and get any questions that you need to do before you do it hey you have a clinical assignment due tomorrow it's reminding me the day before that i have it due the next day so i'm like oh you're right like it jogs my memory of i need to do this instead of having a calendar that's folded and put away and i don't look at it the whole week and i don't turn anything in Obviously, that's not actually going to happen, but it could. So, I'm going to get to work on doing the other things, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know it was short and hopefully informative, but if you have any other questions, let me know down below and I will answer them. I also will be filming a whole day in my life for tomorrow because, as you can see, I got a busy day tomorrow. And I hope you guys are having a great day and hope you guys are staying sane, healthy, and safe during this time. So, yeah.